Hello, everybody. What's up, you guys? It's Frighten, making my uh, appearance on William's channel for the first time ever. I hope you guys are having a great day and enjoy the video. Hello, EXO family, and welcome back to Haunting Reactions. I know I've already said that, but I didn't say hello, EXO family. You guys are my EXO family. You guys are part of the EXO family. And if you're not part of the EXO family and you want to be part of the EXO family, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and check out my good friend Frythen down in the description below who's joining me for this amazing reaction video. Today we are checking out 10 scary things caught from above. Let's check them out. Hello everyone, what's Gucci? Hope you're having an awesome day wherever and whenever you're watching this. I'm your host, Eamon Hassan, and welcome back to another video here at Most Amazing Top 10. Now apparently scary lights in the sky are not the only scary things we have found in the sky. Apparently the list of scary things in this world is never ending, but thankfully I am yet to become a victim of seeing anything strange in the sky, so that's a good thing. But anyway, let's talk about people who actually have seen things in the sky. This is the Top 10 Scary Phenomena Caught in the Sky on camera. How many times am I gonna say sky in this video? Let me know. <laughs> Starting us off with number 10 is the floating city. On October 7, 2015, in the city of Foshan, China, a rare mirage occurred in which a city seemed to be floating in the sky. This was literally seen by thousands of people. It wasn't just a trick of the light or someone lying about it. The footage literally looks like a city. You can see the blocks of the buildings and it looks like a skyline. The whole incident only lasted a few minutes before disappearing, but it did end up on the Chinese news. Some people believe it was due to a government project that only the elite know about and therefore it was just dismissed as some kind of reflection of some kind, whereas other people believe it's actually Fata Morgana, which basically just means a very superior form of a mirage. Don't know why they have to give it a fancy name. Either way, I don't think a whole city can somehow become a mirage for a few minutes, but I'm also no scientist, so... The wildest explanation I read was that it was part of the Blue Beam project, which is a secret project developed by the the US and the point of it is to manipulate the weather and create artificial natural disasters. I don't know why they would want to fake create that. And the mirage they saw was them testing it out to see how the public would react to it. Don't know why they did it in China though, I doubt they did, but there's that too. Well goddamn, seems like the tinfoil hats have fucking taken over. Oh, they're gonna fucking control the weather, man. Oh. Coming in at number 9 is the Death Cloud. Back in 2017, residents of Teixeira de Freitas in Brazil saw a menacing sight in the clouds. They dubbed it the Apocalyptic Cloud or the Death Cloud and the videos literally looks like a red claw has emerged from hell and is reaching into the sky. And the whole thing was red and it looked like it was a shadow of a meteor that was just about to hit earth but then stopped a bit before it did. It dissipated into nothing within 5 minutes but residents were truly terrified. Someone thought the world was ending, another thought it was going to form a tornado, whereas some people saw it as the work of God and called it perfection. It really is a mixed bag of reactions, really. Oh yeah, seeing a red thing fall from the sky, that's a real good perfection. That's like when Chandler Bing from Friends said, Gum would be perfection. Perfection on one hand, death cloud on the other, whatever you want, really. At number 8, we have the black ring. Back in 2015, in Kazakhstan, a video was uploaded by someone living in the village of Shortandi. Shortandi, I don't know, the pronunciation wasn't on Google, don't come for me. They captured what appeared to be a giant black smoke ring in the sky that floated there for 15 minutes and then disappeared as smoke usually tends to do. Now, this sort of sight has been seen thrice before, once in Leamington, but that was due to a fireworks test, another time in Florida, but but that was due to a pyrotechnic test and another one in Chicago due to an electrical transformer blowing up. Nice. Either way, after investigation, nothing seemed to have happened to have caused the ring. No fire related activity, no blown up transformer, nothing. People were speculating whether it was the work of witchcraft or perhaps the portal to hell. <laughs> that is so, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. A portal to hell? Come on, can you can, can we just imagine the devil for a second? He's in hell, you know, he's chilling around, he's sitting in his throne, he's like, Yo, Steve! Yeah, you know that portal to hell that we're gonna open? Yeah, yeah, just a black ring in the sky. 
Yeah, no, none of us are gonna like go through it or anything. We're just gonna like put it there to freak people out. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, it's fine. What? No, I don't have a coochie. Filling our number 7 slot is the Phoenix Light. Back in 2017, a Phoenix City camera as well as thousands of other cameras owned by normal people caught sight of something incredible. The whitish bluish fireball can be seen appearing out of nowhere in the sky and hurtling towards earth as it gets bigger and brighter and then disappears altogether like it was never even there. Now most people speculated it was a meteor but many remained unconvinced and looked towards the extraterrestrial as a possible explanation. What do you guys think? Now. I think that it could possibly be, I, I don't know, a meteor? Number 6 is the face cloud. This one happened in 2011 in a place called Grand Falls which is in New Brunswick, Canada. Dennis LaForge was watering his plants when he looked at the sky and took out his iPhone. The clouds in the video are moving extremely quickly, well like well quicker than the average cloud would move, and the cloud formation then starts forming a giant face. I kid you not, a giant face. The face gets more detailed as it moves forward and it almost seems like the face is the thing propelling the cloud forward. The space for eye sockets is visible, a nose, lips, a chin, it's so detailed it's not even funny. People dubbed it the face of God gliding across the sky. <laughs> Let's be real. That cloud that's baked as fuck. The only explanation George Isaac had, who is a senior cloud scientist, was that clouds come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. Thank you George for that insightful commentary, even I could have said that and I'm not a senior cloud scientist. Coming in at number 5 is the UFO cloud. This one was uploaded by YouTube user UFO VNI, who is a Philadelphia resident. Now we've seen weirdly shaped clouds before, it's definitely not uncommon, but some people believe that UFOs sometimes hide in the clouds to avoid being detected, whereas others go a step further and believe that UFOs can disguise themselves as clouds. I mean, never say never, right? So in this video, there seems to be a random small cloud in the sky. But then as you continue watching, the cloud starts moving and shifting in a really weird way. The cloud seems like it's reflective of light and transparent, and it's moving through the sky with a purpose and a lot quicker than a normal cloud. It's even moving faster than the clouds directly around it. The cloud also had different lights in it, and the user went on to narrate he had never seen anything like that in his life. And after watching the video, neither have I. I well, that's not weird at all. It is weird. I lied. At number 4 is the cloud wave. Back in 2010, on a beach in Helsinki, Finland, people were enjoying their Sunday off at the beach when they suddenly saw a massive dark dramatic cloud coming right towards them. Now they initially thought it was a storm cloud so no real panic had ensued at that point and I don't even believe it's a storm cloud to be honest because I've never seen one so vast and dark and low in the sky. Beachgoers said they felt it was so low they could actually touch it. In the video, it literally looks like the cloud will devour anything in its path like it's the doomsday cloud, I'm not even kidding you. Birds literally flew out of the way of this cloud because it was that ominous. No explanation given, just a bunch of terrified tanned Finnish people. Filling you know, I seriously could not have fucking put that better myself. Get the fuck out of my sight before I demolish you. Our number 3 slot is the yellow flash. In November of 2013, over the city of Sverdlovsk in Russia, a giant flash happened in the sky. Now mind you, this was at night so the sky was pitch black one second and then all of a sudden it went red, then orange, then yellow, and then it expanded and took over more of the sky as it changed colour. It lasted mere seconds but it was unmistakable, and there were no military bases near the area so explanations involving that or disposing of explosives was ruled out. The next explanation was that perhaps it was a bolide linked to the peak of the Leonid's meteor shower, but lights from meteors are usually blue or green or white because of their temperature, so that wasn't it either. Either way, no one knows where the flash came from, but it came and went, and everyone's just gonna pretend like it never even happened. That's brilliant. Let's just continue doing that. Now, in a well, I'm gonna tell you guys this right now. A town, a, a, probably a small village or something near where that footage was taken probably no longer exists. 
two are the fireballs. This one was seen in Canada and I'm actually speechless over what it could possibly be. It looks like some sort of CGI stuff or some effect of some kind but it's 100% real. In the sky there seemed to be two flaming balls that had constant streams of white smoke coming out the top of them. But that wasn't even the weirdest part. There seemed to be a line connecting the two fireballs but it wasn't a line, it looked like an electricity link of some kind. It was a straight white line with electrical currents seemingly coming off of it. They moved straight across the sky on the trajectory of this line and no one had any explanation whatsoever on what it was, how it got there or that energy line connecting them both. And finally at Funny how this entry is literally just stating the fucking, the matter of fact. This is what I think of number two. This right here. This is for you, most amazing top ten. Number one are the dancing lights. This one genuinely freaked me out when I watched the footage, I'm not even gonna lie. This one took place in Greenwood, Indiana and Quaid M13 uploaded quite an HD video of it onto YouTube. Now in the video, the sun itself is behind some clouds that you can see very clearly but on the left of it, there's a stream of yellow light that comes and goes and dances in different directions. It's the exact same color and brightness as the sun's light and honestly, just imagine someone trapped a sun ray in a flashlight and then they were just doing this in clouds. That's exactly what it looked like. The video goes on for 2.5 minutes and the only explanation people have offered is that perhaps it was a crown flash. And crown flash is due to ice crystals in a cirrus cloud merging with the electrical field of a rising cumulus cloud. I never knew I'd know so much about clouds but now I do. While the field changes, the crystals snap and move reflecting sunlight in different ways, hence we saw them dancing. Now some people fully believe that this explanation is the right one and others say that there's no way that that was that. You guys choose whichever explanation you like. Uh, or maybe Goku finally reached Super Saiyan on planet Namek. While I do agree with X of them, it's more likely that God finally just decided to blow his load. Well, you guys, it's time to end this haunting reactions video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. We love you all so much. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. And hit the notification bell. And be sure to share this video with all of your friends and family. And be sure to share this with all your friends and family. Yeah.